What's up people? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record PC gameplay for free. This video just like all of my other tutorials is going to be very quick and straight to the point so let's just jump right into it. Alright so I have a link listed in the description of this video. You're just going to click on that and that's going to bring you to this page here. So you're just going to download OBS Studio. This is actually the program that we're going to be using. This program allows you to record your PC screen or your gameplays for free. Now if you already have OBS, you probably have the classic version. I suggest you get the OBS Studio version because with this, you get a lot more options and it is more stabilized. Alright, so now that you have OBS Studio downloaded and pulled up, the first thing you're going to do is to create a scene. Now your OBS Studio might not look exactly like mine's, that's just because I have a theme on it and that's not really important because this video is just to record your gameplay. Now I'm also not going to go too deep into the settings of OBS in this video, so if you are experiencing lag when you record your gameplays, I do have another video that shows you how to minimize that. I'm going to put a link in the description and I'm also going to put an annotation on the screen to that video. That's basically just the best recording settings that you can get with OBS. So now that that's all out of the way, the first step to recording your gameplays is just to go to the plus sign right here under scenes. Click on that and name it to whatever you want. Basically what scenes are is just that whenever you want to have a certain setting for certain recordings, you can put them there and you can put the different kinds of sources you would like. So I have different scenes for my display captures. So that's just to record my screen here. And then I also have another one for certain games that I like to record. So once you name the scene to whatever you'd like, you can just click on OK. Then what you want to do is go to the plus sign under sources. So these are all of the different kinds of things that you can record with. So we're going to be recording a game. So we're going to click on game capture here and then click on OK. And then here, I'm just going to leave this how it is right now because we're going to come back to that in a second. So just click on OK. And if you wanted to add a face cam to your videos, you could also do that as well. So once you have your webcam connected, you can just click on the plus sign here and then click on video capture device. So basically that'll just bring up your webcam and you can attach that to your videos as well. But I'm just going to show you guys how to record your games. The game that I'm going to be using to show you guys is Minecraft. So let me just pull that up and I'll be right back. Alright, so I now have Minecraft pulled up. And as you can see on my OBS, I don't have anything on the preview screen. So if I were to start recording, it actually would just record a black screen and nothing else. So what you want to do is right click on Game Capture here. Click on Properties and it's going to bring this window back up. So now this depends on if you're going to be playing your game in full screen or if you're just going to have it windowed. If you have dual monitors and you want to record in full screen, you can just have OBS on your second monitor and it's a lot easier to record. But if you only have one monitor, I suggest you play your games windowed and then change the mode to capture specific window. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to use the capture specific window because it is a little bit more complicated. If you do have your game pulled up in full screen, you should probably already see your preview anyway. So I'm just going to click on this here. Then I'm going to click on the drop down next to window and I'm going to click on Minecraft 1.8 because that's the game that I want to record or that's the window that I want to record. So once I click on that, you're then going to see the preview here and then you're going to click on OK. And then yours should be fit to the screen. If it's not just like mine, all you want to do is right click on the actual preview here. Click on transform or hover over transform and click fit to screen. So now it's actually going to fit to the screen so that when you do record and you do pull up the video, it's going to show like a regular full screen video. So the last step to recording your gameplays is obviously going to be your sound. So when you are recording your gameplays, you want your sound to be heard from the game itself. And if you're recording commentary, you want your mics to be on there as well. So all you have to do is click on your settings here click on audio and then you'll see all of your audio devices that you can have. Usually to make sure that your audio is heard is to make sure that you have speakers set and not anything else just because when you do have your headphones on and you click on that it might not actually pick up the sound so even if you have your headphones on I would just click on speakers because that seems to be the best fit. The next is your mic itself so if you're recording commentary you want yourself to be heard just go to your mic auxiliary audio device and make sure that your microphone is connected if it's already connected and it's not showing here, just restart OBS. It just might mean that you had your microphone plugged in while you had OBS open. Once you restart it, you should see your microphone pop up here. I'm using a blue Yeti, so that's what I'm going to be clicking. And then once you click on apply and OK, you'll then see your microphone here and you'll see yourself talking even when you're not recording. Once you click on the actual game itself, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but 
I do have sound coming from the game and you can see it lighting up here on the screen as well. I'm actually going to switch over to the game capture itself so you guys can see what it looks like when I'm recording the game capture. Alright, so as you guys can tell, I am recording in-game with Game Capture on OBS Studio, and that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll catch you guys with the next one.